Welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your Roblox look from this to this in just a couple of steps. Anyways, let's get right into the video. So first thing you want to do is on your device, hold Windows and Q on your keyboard and search up Task Manager. Now open up this app and it should take you to this page. Over here, click on Performance, go down to GPU 1 and check what GPU you have installed. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, unfortunately this tutorial will not work for you. Next you want to search up GeForce Experience and make sure you open that up as well. So over here you want to locate settings and enable the in-game overlay. Now that we've done that, find the block shade link in my description and click on the download button right here. Before you click on this button, make sure to click on the subscribe button and that like button first and let's move on. So once you've downloaded it, go over to File Explorer and you'll see that block shade has been installed. It'll be a zip file so you want to open it with your zip extractor. As you can see here, I'm using WinRAR to extract my zip folder. I'm just gonna drag that over here and let it extract. Now that you've extracted it, open up the setup and it should open up this pop-up window. Over here, just click install. Now you just want to wait until Blockshade installs. Once the installation has finished, you can uncheck these or just check it if you want to join the Discord server or something and then click on the finish button. Now that we've finished downloading everything, let's go in a game and change some settings inside of it. I'm going to be using this game, link in the description if you want to play it, so anyways, let's get right into it. So here I am inside of a showcase game, and first thing you want to change if you want these shaders to work, is probably to increase your graphics quality, because if you want shaders, you obviously want the game to look good, and high graphics makes the game just look better in general. So if you want this extended graphics bar and some more FPS while you have the full graphics, check out the video on the top right corner showing you how to get more FPS and how to install this plugin. Anyways, next thing you want to do is actually turn on the shaders. So you want to hit Alt and F3 on your keyboard. First time you click it might bring an error up, so you just want to click the Alt F3 again and it should pop up this bar. Over here you can go to style number 1 and you can add some filters. Now you have a bunch of presets that you can add. For this video I'm just going to use a random one like Block Shade Ultra. And as you can see there's more contrast on the window lights, there's some reflections on the ground, and the game looks way better. Also these shaders don't really affect your computer much, as you can see it only took away like 10 FPS from me. And this is a pretty complicated showcase game, so in a normal game like Blocks Fruits for example, it should work perfectly fine. If this video has helped you out in any way, make sure to subscribe, like, and maybe comment down below your favorite filter, and check out the video on the screen to get more FPS, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye guys!